Okay, in this class, I am going to talk about the reduction formula. Reduction formula. This is a very important uh, mathematical process in group theory, and the reduction formula gives the number of times a particular representation will occur in a reducible representation. The number of times a particular irreducible representation will occur in a given reducible representation. Okay, and uh, I will explain what is the meaning of that. And here I have given a character table of C two V point group. Here you can see that the character table contains four character sets belonging to A one, A two, B one, and B two symmetry. Okay, and um, uh, I will I will show you. A reducible representation of this C2V point group. A reducible representation. We have already uh, learned this de detail, the reducible representations of uh, different point groups, and therefore I already hope that uh, I, I hope that you already have some basic idea of the reducible and the irreducible representations, and also you have some basic idea of the character tables. So these basic idea ideas are required to continue. With this topic, so I strongly recommend you to go back to my previous lectures before continuing. If you have missed it, okay. So let us talk about the reducible representation possible for the C2V point group. I can construct the reducible representations taking different basis sets. For example, let me take x, y, and z as the basis set. Basis set. Okay, basis uh, set uh, for constructing a reducible representation. We have already done this in our previous uh, class. Okay, so I don't, I am not going to the detail of that. So let us write the 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 the, the uh, matrices corresponding to the different operations or different elements present in the C two V point group. Using x, y, and z as the basis set. Okay, so so let us consider e, e. If e is the operation that we are con considering, the basis set is one and zero 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 one zero and zero zero one. Okay, and if we are considering C two operation, the the matrix the matrix is now uh, is uh, uh, this is c2 is that means uh, um, rotation about the z axis so we can take minus 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 okay and if you are taking sigma v x is that then we can take the matrix as the transformation matrix as uh, 1 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 And zero zero one. And if we are taking uh, sigma v y is that y is that we can uh, take the transformation matrix as uh, uh, minus one zero 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 minus zero one zero and zero zero one. Okay, these are the transformation matrices. If we are taking x y and is that as the Uh, is x y and z as the basis set. What is the meaning of these matrices? I just explained with one example. That's all. Okay, because we have elaborated this in our pre previous class. This just represents that. For example, if we are taking the C two is such the transformation matrix corresponding to the C two is such, we can write like minus one zero 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 minus one zero 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 one. Okay, this is a three by three matrix. It is multiplied with a, a matrix, a column matrix that is x, y, z. Okay, this is a column matrix, and this column matrix corresponds to the basis set. Okay, x, y, z, and this will transform it as x dash, y dash, and z dash. Okay, we will get another column matrix x dash, y dash, z dash, and you can write this as a three different sets of equation. Means this can be written like minus x is equal to x dash, minus x is equal to x dash, and uh, you can write like minus y is equal to y dash, and uh, z is equal to 
is a dash okay you can take three equations you can you can extract the three equations from these uh, matrices okay so this says that the, during the c2 operation x becomes x minus x okay and y becomes minus y and z is transformed as z itself that is the meaning of that that is true c2 z z2 z is is a rotation about the z axis right rotation of the molecule about the z axis so during this rotation uh, if you are considering any point in the molecule its x coordinate will uh, change to minus z because this is a 180 degree rotation then one point which is already here will come this here so its x coordinate will be minus x and y coordinate also will become minus y but the z coordinate is not going to change because the rotation is in the z axis itself that is the meaning of this transformation matrices so i have given four transformation matrices here corresponding to different operations okay so these matrices these matrices are one by one matrices and at the same time this is a reducible representation this is a reducible representation so this reducible representation is a three dimensional reducible representation right because these are 3 by 3 matrices so you can reduce this to a reducible representations like this by block factorization right so you can do like this you can then reduce this reducible matrix to three irreducible matrices then you get a three irreducible matrices like 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 i am just only writing the characters of the irreducible representation here okay so let me write this as the uh, gamma 1 okay so that is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 characters of the first irreducible representation and then i take the second irreducible representation 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so just i take the characters gamma 2 second one is 1 minus 1 Minus one one, and the last one gamma three is one 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 one, one 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 one. Okay, so these are the three the characters of the three irreducible representation or the character sets corresponding to three irreducible representation that I can get from this reducible representation. Okay, these irreducible representations are. actually appearing in the character table itself you can see 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 it is already there in the character table 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 this is this one b1 so the first one corresponds to b1 this one corresponds to b1 and then you have 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 that is the last one right that corresponds to b2 b2 this one corresponds to b2 and then you have this one the last one 1 1 1 1 that corresponds to a1 okay so from this three dimensional reducible representation okay reducible representation this is the reducible representation you got three irreducible representations b1 b2 and a1 okay now let us look at the characters the total characters of this uh, a reducible representation the total characters of this reducible representation here it is 3 okay 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 here it is 1 minus 1 1 so this is minus 1 okay and here it is 1 minus 1 1 so this is 1 and here it is 1 minus 1 1 then 1 so it is 1 so the total characters are 3 minus 1 1 1 3 minus 1 1 1 okay so <clears throat> let us let me write the total characters also here this is the total character let me write it as gamma t and that is equal to total characters is equal to 3 uh, 3 minus 1 1 1 3 minus 1 1 1 Okay, this is the total character we can get from the reducible representation that we already considered. And remember that the reducible representation that we considered is a three-dimensional representation. Okay, three-dimensional representation. 
and now we can consider another reducible representation actually there is no limit of the dimension of the reducible representation that actually depends upon the basis set that you are choosing at this moment we chose x y and z as the basis set and that is why we got a three dimensional reducible representation suppose we are take, we are adding one more component to the basis set for example let us take a basis set like x y z r z okay the new basis set that i am going to consider is x y z then r z also where r z uh, r z actually represents the rotation the intrinsic rotation about the intrinsic rotation about the z axis okay so i am taking this uh, basis set where there are four components x y z and r z so if we are taking this as the basis set our re reducible representation will become uh, four dimensional right when we were considering the x y and z as the basis set the reducible representation was three dimensional so if we are considering one more component in the basis set then it will become four dimensional we can see how the reducible representation will appear if we are taking x y z and r z as the basis set okay you know what is happening to x y and z during the uh, during every operation in c to be point group and also you can you also know what happens to r z while we are performing different operations in the c to be point group because we already discussed this while discussing uh, the character table of the c to be point group okay so let me write here what happens to x y z and r z you already know x y z so let me write what happens to r z also during every operation so e then c2 z then sigma v x z and sigma v y z okay so during the e operation the r z what happens to r z r z will be r z itself okay and uh, during the c2 is such then r z will be r z r z is the rotation about the z axis this is the z axis okay this is x axis and this is y axis the r z is a rotation about the z axis i am not say, talking about the rotation of the molecule i am talking about the rotation of the axis itself okay rotation of the axis the as axis is rotating and what happens to the rotation of the axis that is called intrinsic rotation of the axis what happens to the intrinsic rotation of the axis when we are performing different symmetry operations of the molecule belonging to c2v point group that is what i am talking about we already discussed this in detail okay so i recommend you to go back to my lecture on the character table of the c2 c2v point group there i have detailed this how these uh, rotation intrinsic rotation is transforming during different uh, operations okay and uh, during the c2 z the direction of the rotation is not changing okay and during the sigma v x z what happens to the direction about the r is r z during the sigma v x z the direction of the rotation will uh, change right will change so this will become minus r z and during the y z during the y z then also the, the the this will become it the direction of the rotation will change okay so that is minus r is such so what is the meaning of that during the r is such during the during every operation r is such will be tra transferred as r is such r is such minus r is such and minus r is such corresponding to four different operations in the c2v point group so based on this op based on this one we can construct the reducible representation a 4 by 4 reducible representation so let us first write the uh, transformation matrix corresponding to e okay then there we have to write first what happens to x during e nothing happens to x so that is 1 then 0 0 0 0 okay sorry i have written 5 we need only 4 okay 0 0 0 then what happens to y 0 nothing happens to y that is why it is again 1 1 0 0 then 0 0 1 0 means is that is transformed as is that itself then 0 0 0 1 
this one goes for the RZ, okay, RZ also uh, is also transformed as RZ itself. So, this is the matrix corresponding to E, okay, now what is the matrix corresponding to C to Z, okay, C to Z is the rotation of the molecule about the uh, Z axis by 180 degree, okay, then this one will be uh, X, X will be uh, minus 1, and then 0, 0, 0, then y will be minus 1, then 0, minus 1, 0, 0, z will be 1 only because it is a rotation about the z axis, ok. So, 0, 0, 1, 0 and what about r z? 0, 0, 0, 1 because r z is not changing during the c to z rotation, ok. And uh, now I am going to write for the sigma v x z, the matrix corresponding to sigma v x z and sigma v x z matrix is um, it is a reflection about this x is at plane, right. So, x will not change. So, it is 1, 0, 0, 0. y will change because it is a reflection about the x is at axis. So, y will become minus y. So, it is 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0. z will not change, 0, 0, 1, 0 and r z will become minus r z, right. It means that the direction of the r z is changing. That is the meaning, okay. So, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, okay. And the transformation matrix corresponding to sigma v y z and that is equal to, uh, since it is y z, the reflection about the y z plane, then x will be minus 1, then 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and what happens to r z, that is also minus r z, so 0, 0, 0, minus 1, okay. These are the four matrices corresponding to different operations, um, different operations in the C to B quantum. Now you look at this, this reducible representation. This is also a reducible representation. We can block factorize this one, right, like this. We can block factorize like this. Every, everything we can block factorize like this, okay. So if we are block factorizing this reducible representation, we will get a four irreducible representation, four irreducible representation four irreducible representation like this. So, let me write those four irreducible representations here that is that is 1, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. I am writing the character set of the irreducible representation gamma 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. The next one gamma 2 is 1 minus 1, uh, minus 1, 1 and gamma 3 is 1, 1, 1, 1 and a gamma 4 is 1, 1, minus 1, uh, minus 1, okay. So, now you look at this irreducible presentation. The first three we got from here itself, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1 that is B1, okay. So, let me write uh, b1 here, this corresponds to b1 and 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, that is b2 and the next one is a1, okay, then b2, b2 and this is uh, a1, okay, and what about this one, this is 1, 1 minus 1 minus 1, we can look at the character table, 1, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 1 minus 1, this is a2, okay. So, we have A2 also here. So, we have A2 also here. Okay. So, this, irre irreducible, this reducible representation can be um, split it into four irreducible representation or it can be reduced to four irreducible representations B1, B2, A1, A2 or you can say A1, A2, B1, B2. Means, we will get all the irreducible representations appearing in the character table all the irreducible representations appearing in the character table a1 a2 b1 b2 if we are considering this 4 by 4 matrix right this 4 by 4 matrix so you have to remember that initially we had a 3 by 3 matrix considering x y and z as the character set there when we reduced this matrix we got only a1 b1 and b2 okay a2 was missing there and now, when we consider another reducible representation, we get A2 also, okay. 
and uh, now you can go for another reducible representation another reducible representation before that let me give the character of these representations also okay the tot character of the reducible representation this is 4 here the character is 4 here character 4 and uh, this is 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 so this is 0 and this is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 again it is uh, 0 and this is minus 1 1 1 minus 1 okay 2 minus 1 and 2 plus 1 so again it is uh, 0 okay 4 0 0 0 so now <coughs> we have the total character like a 4 0 0 0 let me write it here the total character of the reducible representation that we considered now is 4 0 0 0 okay and now i will uh, i will discuss one more reducible representation then i will come to the uh, in the reduction formula for this reducible representation i take a bigger character set the character set that i am going to choose here is x y is such then rx ry and r is such rx ry and r is such okay and when i am choosing this uh, character this uh, uh, basis set my matrices will be 6 by 6 matrices right 6 by 6 matrices and i am going to write this 6 by 6 matrices this is the uh, 6 by these are the 6 by 6 matrices let me write it here and the uh, first one first three lines belong to x y and z and uh, uh, the next three belongs to rx ry and rz okay if you don't know what is happening to rx ry uh, rx ry and rz you have to refer back to my previous lecture on the c2v character table there i have discussed in detail what is happening to rx ry and rz okay so the first uh, uh, matrix is that is corresponding to e it is 1 0 0 0 0 0 then the next one is 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 0 0 1 okay this corresponds to e okay and next one corresponds to uh, c2 is that okay next one corresponds to c2 z so c2 z uh, matrix is minus 1 and 0 and 0 then 0 0 0 okay then uh, next one is 0 minus 1 okay since it is c2 is that then 0 then 0 0 0 and next one is 0 0 1 0 0 0 and next one is belonging to rx okay so uh, then rx during the situ is that it is minus 1 so we can write like 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 and then ry also is minus 1 then 0 0 0 0 minus 1 0 and then last one is 0 0 0 0 0 1 that belongs to r is that okay this is the next uh, matrix and now I am going to write the matrix corresponding to sigma v x s h. Okay, so it is a reflection about the x s h plane. So it is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, then rx. What happens to rx during x s h? rx become minus rx. So it is uh, 0 0 0 minus 1 0 0 what about ry ry is uh, uh, um, retaining as uh, ry so i can write it like 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and r is it becomes minus r is it so i can write 0 0 0 0 0 minus 1 okay so that is a matrix corresponding to sigma v x z and let me write the last matrix also the last matrix is uh, sigma v y z so it is a reflection about y z plane so minus 1 0 0 then 0 0 0 then 0 1 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 
0, 0, 0. Now comes those for Rx, Ry and Rsh. Since it is y is that plane, Rx is equal to Rx itself. So, I can write it like 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. But Ry become minus Ry. So, let me write it like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 minus 1, 0. Then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. R is such, R is also become minus R is such. So, that is one. So, this is the six dimensional reducible representation. Representation. Okay, reducible representation. And now, this reducible representation now can be block factorized to get their different their irreducible representations, right? So, let me write the irreducible representation that I can get from here. I am not uh, doing the, uh, I am not making boxes here because you can just pick the numbers from each row. That's all. Okay. So, this is a, this is a diagonal matrix. This is also a diagonal matrix. Only the diagonal elements are uh, non-zero. All other elements are uh, zero. Okay. So, we can just pick the numbers from each row. That's all. So, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. That is 1. Okay. Then 1 minus 1 from the second row. Minus 1, 1. And from the third row, 1, 1, 1. Then 1. And from the fourth row, 1 minus 1. Then minus 1, 1. From the fifth row, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. And from the last row, we have 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Okay. Now, we have 6 uh, character lines or character sets. So, let me check the symmetry of these uh, character sets. Okay. These are gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3, gamma 4, gamma 5 and gamma 6. The symmetry of these uh, character sets. Gamma 6. Okay. Symmetry of this one. So, this one is 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. What is 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1? In the C2B point group, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is B1, right? So, this is uh, B1, B1. And what about 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1? 1 minus 1, minus 1, 1. That is uh, B2. So, this is B2. What about 1, 1, 1, 1? That is A1. What about 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1? 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. This was already there. 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1. That is B2. Okay. And 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. This was already there. 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1. That is B1. Okay. And what about last one? 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1 is A2. Okay. So, now we have... B1, B2, A1, B2, B1, A2. Two representations are repeating here, right? B1, this one, B1 appears here and also B1 appears here. And B2 appears here and B2 appears here. Okay, then we have A1 and A2. So, when we are checking these uh, irreducible representations, these irreducible representation in these irreducible representations two of the character sets are repeating they are redundant right so we don't need to write everything we need to write only one time one particular character set so we can write this like this total character um, in the total character of this one is uh, uh, what is the total character here the total character here is this one six Okay, and this one is minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. How many minus 1? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 1 and 2 plus 1. Okay, so minus 4 plus 2, that is equal to minus 2. And what about this one? 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, that is uh, 0. Then 1 minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, that is also 0. Because we have 4 minus 3 minus 1 and 3 plus 1, that is also 0. So, the total character here for the reducible representation, gamma t, gamma t is 6 minus 2 
0 0 okay and this can be split into uh, a1 it can be split into a1 plus b a1 plus uh, a1 plus uh, a2 plus 2b1 2b1 plus 2b2 okay 2b1 plus 2b2 in, in the previous cases we had this total character is split into a1 plus a2 plus b1 plus b2 okay and the first case we had uh, what in the first case uh, where is it yeah 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 here in this first case this total character was split into a1 plus 0 a2 a2 was missing there plus b1 plus b2 okay so we have a different reducible representations and these different reducible representations can be reduced to irreducible representations but when you are reducing to irreducible representations we get a different uh, sets of uh, we get uh, different uh, irreducible representations sometimes some irreducible representation may be missing like this sometimes we may get uh, all the four irreducible representation like this sometimes we may get some irreducible representation repeating like this okay so here we have uh, the total character set and if we are given the total character set how can we reduce this total character set or how can we predict that how, how many types each irreducible representation is present in a reducible representation or belonging to that total character set. Belonging to this 6 minus 2 0 0 there is a reducible representation okay and we know that belonging to this reducible representation we have uh, these character sets and how many times these this uh, reduced representation and how many times these reduced representations are missing also that information we have but how we can do this always if you are given the character set corresponding to a particular reducible representation how can you find out how many times the irreducible representations are present in that reducible representation what we have done here is a laborious process right we have to write all the matrices corresponding to that or when you are given a character set you have to find out the matrices corresponding to that uh, total character set then you have to reduce it further to reduce the representations and see how many times it is repeating that is a very laborious process okay so we have to make this process easier and luckily we have some mathematical equation for this one okay and from this mathematical equation you can find out how many times each irreducible representations are occurring in a reducible representation corresponding to a particular total character set okay that is what we are going to discuss now now i will uh, now i will uh, give you the formula the reduction formula this reduction formula is saying how many times are in a reduced how many times are how, uh, how many times a particular representation a particular representation will occur within a reducible representation how many times a particular irreducible representation will occur in a given reducible representation okay so i will give the reduction formula and using this reduction formula we can check whether our results are correct or not okay so the reduction formula is n i is equal to n i is equal to 1 divided by h sigma g r g r okay chi i r okay chi r this is reduction formula i will explain what are these terms this h here represents uh, okay n i n i is the number of times the ith representation will occur for example if you are considering this character set this total character set and you are checking how many times b1 will occur how many times b1 will occur two times we already know that two times will occur so ni in this case is equal to 2 because we are checking for how many times b1 will occur if you are if you are checking for 
the ith representation then you can ni is the number of times the ith representation will occur the number of times ith representation will occur in the total character set or in the reduced representation corresponding to that total character set okay so ni ni is the number of times number of times number of times the ith ith irreducible representation will occur will occur in the in the in the reducible representation corresponding to corresponding to the the given given total character set okay that is ni number of times the ith irreducible representation will occur in the reducible representation corresponding to the given total character set okay that is ni and what about h you already know this this is the order of the group order of the group in the case of c2b the order is 4 okay and gr what is gr gr is the number of elements in a particular class represented by the operation r okay in the case of c2b point group we have e, we have four classes each operation will represent which operation will operation will represent a particular its own class e belong to its own class c2 belong to another class sigma v another class sigma v x y z another class like that so in this c2b point group the number of elements in each class is equal to 1 so gr will be 1 always in the c2b point group whatever r you are considering r is the uh, operation uh, represented by the class uh, the r is the operation representing the class but if you are coming to c3b point group okay if you are coming to c3b point group then the that is not the case because in c3b point group you know that there are three classes e then e belong to one particular class then the next class is c3 and in the same class of c3 c3 square will also appear okay so we in the character table we write it like a 2c3 okay and there is another class sigma v dash sigma v double dash and sigma v triple dash okay all these three vertical planes belong to the same class okay so sigma v dash since there are three vertical pl planes belong into the same class in the character table we will write it as 3 sigma v so how many classes are there in the c3v three classes are there so when we are considering e as the operation gr is equal to 1 okay this gr is equal to 1 when e r is equal to e but when r is equal to c3 gr is equal to 2 and when r is equal to sigma v then gr is equal to 3 okay so gr represents the number of elements in the class okay number of elements in the class so this is the number of elements in in a class in a class okay in a class represented by the operation r represented by the represented by the operation or element r okay and what about chi chi r chi r is the character character of the matrix corresponding to r in the ith representation the character of the matrix corresponding to r in the ith irreducible representation or character of character corresponding to r character corresponding to r in the ith ith irreducible representation okay what about chi r chi r is the character character corresponding to corresponding to corresponding to r in the in the total character or reducible representation or in the reducible representation in the reducible representation um, corresponding to the corresponding to the given corresponding to the given given total character set total character character set okay so these are the and these are the terms in the reduction formula ni number of times the ith irreducible representation will occur h order gr is the number of elements in a class represented by the operation r 
chi i r is the uh, character corresponding to r in the ith irreducible representation and chi r is the corresponding character in the total character set okay so <coughs> now i am going to apply this formula in our 6 by 6 uh, 6 by 6 matrix or this uh, six dimensional reducible representation and we know that in the in this case the the total character set is equal to 6 minus 2 0 0 6 minus 2 0 0 so uh, i am going to write this one so first uh, let me take the character table the part of the character table here part of this character table here okay let me take this one okay so i will paste it there and uh, then i will write the total character set also so this is the character table and let me write the total character set now the total character set now is uh, 6 minus 2 0 0 okay 6 minus 2 0 0 6 minus 2 0 0 comma t is equal to 6 Minus two zero zero. Now I am going to apply the reduction formula here. Reduction formula here. So in the reduction formula, I am checking how many times a one will appear in this. How many times a one will appear? That is n a one. In place of n i, I write n a one. Means how many times a one will appear in the matrix, the reducible representation corresponding to this total character set? Okay. So n a one is equal to one divided by h into g r. In our case, is one because we are considering C to B point group. Okay, so that is one. So I am not going to write one all the time because so multiplying with one is not going to change our value. So let me neglect that g r here in this particular case. Okay, and one by h into into. Now we have to and. Uh, now we have to consider what the uh, sigma okay sigma means uh, summation of all these for all the operations so let me uh, multiply the character in the reducible representation that we are considering and the total character the character of the total character set okay then we will sum this so first me first let me take it for the e okay e is equal to in the, in the case of e um the character corresponding to a1 is 1 and the character corresponding to gamma t is 6 so i can write it like chi i is chi i e is equal to 1 and chi i um chi r chi chi e is equal to 6 so i can write it like 1 into 6 okay plus now we have to move for the next operation that is 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into 0 that is 0 plus 1 into 0 that is 0 so we can write it like this okay so that is equal to 1 divided by 4 because h is equal to 4 in this case into 1 into 6 plus 1 into minus 2 that is 6 minus 2 that is equal to 4 that is equal to 1 it means that in this character set in this character set in the in the reducible representation corresponding to this total character set A one will appear one time. Is it correct? We can check check here. Yes, A one will appear only one time. We have already seen that. Okay. And now we can check for A two. A two. So n A two n A two is equal to one divided by four into okay A two. This is a character set corresponding to A two. So let me write it like one into six. Then one into Minus two plus one into minus two plus zero plus zero. Okay, so that is equal to again one by four into six minus two. That is four by four. That is equal to one. Okay, so again the number of times a two appear in the reducible representation will be one. So let us check whether it is correct. Yes, it is only one time appearing. Okay, and now we are going to check for b one. How many times b one will appear? So n b one, n b one is equal to one divided by four into what is the character set corresponding to b one? That is one minus one, one minus one. Okay. So let me write it like one into six, uh, and the next one is minus one. Okay. 
minus 1 into minus 2 plus minus 1 into minus 2 plus 0 plus 0 okay so that is equal to that is equal to 1 divided by 4 1 divided by 4 into into 6 6 plus 2 6 plus 2 6 plus 2 is 8 8 by 4 is equal to 2 okay so now the result is 2 so how many times b1 will appear in the reducible representation corresponding to this total character set two times in, uh, it will appear that is what the reduction formula says let us check whether it was correct or not yes it was correct it is 2b1 right 2b1 two times b1 will occur and now we can check how many times b2 will occur using the reduction formula b2 so n b2 n b2 is equal to 1 divided by 4 into 1 into 6 uh, plus minus 1 into uh, minus 2 plus 0 plus 0 same result that is equal to uh, 2 okay it means that b2 will appear two times in the reducible representation corresponding to this character set right so that is also correct we can see here it is 2b2 so reduction formula simply gives us how many times the irreducible representation will appear in a character set corresponding to a reducible representation right or in a reducible representation corresponding to a given total character set that is what reduction formula is saying now we can check the result uh, for our uh, see second case also this was the second case the four dimensional reducible representation right so we can check this for check for this one the total character set here was 4000 0, 0, 0. so it is very easy to do this because three elements are uh, zero in that total character set so we have to check only the first uh, first element of the total character set all other uh, stuff will become zero so if you are considering gamma is 4000 0, 0, 0. gamma t as 4000 0, 0, 0. let me again put the uh, part of the character table here and now I am going to write the gamma gamma t here gamma t gamma t in this case is 4 0 0 0 and now we will check how many times each step will appear okay each uh, irreducible representation will appear okay let us check n a1 n a1 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 into 4 right 1 into 4 other terms will become 0 we don't need to write it that is 4 by 4 that is equal to 1 and n a2 is also equal to 1 by 4 into 1 into 4 okay that is also equal to 1 and n b1 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 into uh, 4 that is equal to 1 and n b2 is also equal to 1 by 4 into 1 into 4 that is equal to uh, 1 it means that a1 a2 b1 and b2 will appear one time each in the in the reducible representation corresponding to this total character set we can check whether it was correct or not we have already done this here right see this character set 4000 that is a1 plus a2 plus b1 plus b2 all the irreducible representation will appear one time that is what we can see from here so our reduction formula is correct here also now we can check for the first case the so first case is the total character is 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 so here the calculation is bit lengthier because all the characters here are non zero characters so let us check how many times it, it will appear 3 minus 1 1 1 3 minus 1 1 1 so let me paste the character table here 3 minus 1 1 1 right so that is gamma t is equal to 3 minus 1 1 1 isn't it let me check once again so that we will not make mistake 3 minus 1 1 1 correct 3 minus 1 1 1 so we can check the reduction formula for this one how many times each one will appear okay so n a 1 n a 1 is equal to n a 1 is equal to 1 divided by 4 into uh, 1 into 3 first line okay 1 into 3 
plus 1 into minus 1 okay all these are 1 okay so we don't need to multiply all the time you can just write it also 1 into uh, 1 into minus 1 uh, plus 1 plus 1 right so that is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 into 3 3 minus 1 and then plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to plus 2 okay that is equal to 3 uh, plus 2 that is 5 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 4 by 4 is equal to 1 okay so n a 1 is equal to 1 so let us now calculate n a 2 n a 2 that is equal to 1 divided by 4 into n a 2 is equal to 1 into 3 1 into 3 that is equal to 3 let me write the final things 1 into 3 3 then 1 into minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 then minus 1 minus 1 that is equal to plus 1 then minus 1 1 that is equal to minus 1 okay so that is equal to what was this one 3 then 1 3 to minus 1 into minus 1 1 so this was minus 1 right this was minus 1 minus 1 okay minus 1 then this is minus 1 that is equal to 1 by 4 into 3 minus 3 that is equal to 0 so 1 by 4 into 0 that is equal to 0 so n a2 means the a2 will not appear in this reducible representation right and uh, now we can check for n b1 n b1 is equal to 1 1 divided by 4 into 1 into 3 3 minus 1 into minus 1 that is equal to plus 1 1 into 1 that is equal to plus 1 and uh, minus 1 into 1 that is equal to minus 1 okay that is equal to uh, 3 plus 4 uh, uh, 3 plus 2 5 5 minus 1 that is 4 that is equal to 4 by 4 that is equal to 1 okay so b1 will appear one time and uh, n b2 b2 is equal to 1 divided by 4 into 1 into 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and 1 1 plus 1 that is that is equal to 3 4 5 minus 1 4 that is equal to 4 by 4 that is equal to 1 okay so b2 will appear one time so this one is like um, n a1 a1 this is like a1 plus 0 a2 plus b1 plus b2 right you can check whether this is correct or not see yes it is correct a1 plus 0 a2 plus b1 plus b2 that is correct right so if we have the total character set corresponding to any reducible representation using the reduction formula now we can calculate how many times each irreducible representation will appear in that reducible representation in that reducible representation corresponding to that total character set so this is reduction formula this is a very beautiful formula and it makes our life easy right so we can just if you get a character sometimes we get the total character set very easily you will see that when we are going to check the, uh, the the application of this in hybridization there we can get the total character set very easily and then we have to uh, resolve this total character set into it into different irreducible representations right and we have to check how many times each irreducible representation will occur in that uh, matrix in that matrix corresponding to the total character set and for that we don't need to do this old laborious process we can just use the reduction formula and from the reduction formula we can see how many times each irreducible representation will occur okay so that is the beauty of this uh, uh, of this uh, reduction formula okay so if you are given any of this uh, type of character set total character set you can use this reduction formula and find out how many times it will appear okay i hope you understood this one I, you can take many examples for example if you want to uh, if you want to yourself um, how many times this uh, uh, it will appear in a total character set and then you can you can do for this one for c2b point group 
for example i am going to give you a total character set and gamma t is equal to 5 3 minus 1 and 1 okay 5 3 minus 1 1 and you can do yourself how many times each irreducible representation means a1 a2 b1 b2 will occur in the reducible representation corresponding to this total character set you can do that okay so obviously this might might be obtained from a five dimensional uh, matrix or five by five matrix okay that is why e is equal to five here so you can check how many times it will occur it will occur okay so you can uh, check your answer and uh, you can see that your answer will be like uh, 2 a1 plus 2 a2 plus b2 you can check whether this is correct okay the answer will be like 2 a1 2 a1 plus 2 a2 2 a2 plus b2 okay this is going to be your answer okay and uh, you can check yourself and i hope you understood this one and also you can do yourself uh, one for c3b point group also for the c3b point group c3b point group remember this is c3b not c2b and i am going to give you a character set that is total character set gamma t that is equal to 5 2 minus 1 okay 5 2 minus 1 okay this corresponds to e then uh, 2 c3 okay and the 3 sigma v the character table okay so you can do this one also and uh, you have to see that this corresponds to a1 a1 plus uh, 2a2 2a2 plus e okay so this is uh, this is the result that you are going to get from here so <coughs> here you can see that a1 appear one a1 appear one time a2 appear two times and e appear one time so how many reduce representation you will see from here one two one okay so that is uh, 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 how many times uh, four Redu four a, a reduce representation uh, no we have three reduce representations in our uh, in, in our character in our c3b character c3b character table and from this one you will see from the representation that is already given here you will see that one belong to a1 and two belong to a2 and uh, another one belong to e okay and that's what you can see and uh, e is a two dimensional representation okay that's very important that is why the total dimension is five so here it is one okay here is two into one plus this is two so that is one plus two plus two that is equal to five okay but here you can see that it is a five dimension five, five dimensional reduce of representation and when you are reducing to irreducible representation, you will get like a 2 into 1 plus 2 into 1 because A is one dimensional representation. B is also one dimensional representation. That is 1. That is 2 plus 2 plus 1. That is equal to 5. Okay. So here, here and here, you will get to 5 irreducible representations. Okay. No. Here you will get a 5 irreducible representation. But here you will get a uh, 3 of the uh, irreducible three one dimensional irreducible representation and two one two dimensional irreducible representation here you will get a five one dimensional irreducible representation okay so you can see from you can we can cross check whether your um, result is correct or not by looking at this one and also you have to remember that when you are doing this calculation you should not get the answer like n i is equal to uh, 0 0.5 okay what is that that is wrong you say that if you are getting this type of an answer or, or a fraction any fraction like this okay or 0 0.7 0 0.8 or 1 by 4 something like that if you get an answer like that this is this says that your calculation is wrong or the given character set itself is wrong okay so that is what it is it is me it means why it is wrong because actually this given gives the number of times a particular reducible, irreducible representation will occur in a reducible representation. Okay. It can occur one time, two time, three time, four time, etc. But it cannot occur 0 0.5 time. It can occur zero time also. So, the 
possible values are 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. These are the possible values. The fractional values are not possible. Okay. You cannot say that half time 1 reduced representation will occur. Na? That is meaningless, right? That is nonsense. So, you should not get this type of values. Means fractional values when I when you do this one. That is that you have to take care. And uh, you should not get the negative values also. Ni is equal to minus 3. Ah, what is the meaning of that? That is also meaningless. Okay. So, this type of uh, answers are wrong. Okay. So, you have to always get this type of answers. 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. For example, if you are checking, if you, you are given a character set like, uh, for example, uh, let me give like 6, 0, okay, 6, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0. Let us check what is the validity of this character set. Character set, total character set, gamma t is equal to 6, 0, 0, 0. And this is for the C2V point group. And now you can check for, uh, now you can check for uh, N A1. Okay. Now you can check for N A1. And uh, what is the result that you are getting? Okay. N A1 is equal to, in this case, you have to remember the C2V character table. I have given it here. Okay. This here. And N A1 is equal to 1 divided by 4. 1 divided by 4 into uh, 6 into 1 that is 6 plus uh, 0 right because this is 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 right that is equal to 6 by 4 6 by 4 6 by 4 is meaningless right 6 by 4 is a fraction so that is meaningless so, this possibility is not there. If you are given this type of character set, there is no reducible representation, representation corresponding to this character set. That is the meaning. So, that, that, that calculation is wrong. So, you have to always get 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. as the answer. Okay? That you have to keep in mind. So, that is all I have to talk about the reduction formula. I hope you understood. You enjoyed this lecture. And if you have any doubt, please do not hesitate to ask me. Okay? And thank you for watching and stay tuned.